Right, so one of the problems I had last year was the gunner I bought two, one died and I put the second one in here under some puff lease over it and an upturned pot like a clash and I kept it alive and I in a late spring or early spring I transferred it into here and it took off really well and I think the reason was the deciduous tree next door had no leaves on it and there was a lot of light getting in and it basically has not grown for the last two months because I think it's, it's too dark there's too much shade with the bamboos all around it and now the trees, deciduous trees are coming into full leaf and also this fatsia is literally over the top um, we did have a huge gunner a long 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 time ago in this corner but at the time there was no like these plants were were all small and the gunner uh, the gunner's growth exceeded anything that the bamboo and everything else was doing so it was able to get huge so i'm actually going to take this out of here because i'd say it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything here uh, so you see like in one of the other videos there i took a delivery of stone and yesterday I basically connected up on the old dry stone wall that I built, the new stone, and I brought it in a gradual slope down all there's a gap here and it knits in with the the stone around the path and I'll be doing the same here, same gradual slope down gap and bring it down and knit it in. And what we hope to do with this the stone wall here and here is and it's gonna narrow and it's gonna tighten up this gravel a bit more, which would be good. It's not gonna spread out. Um the missus she's gonna be planting uh, lavender all along here into the, the gravel and stone and stuff. So that's what she wants. Now, what I want to do across here with that new stone as well is a low wall. I might have to I'll blend it in here and bring it across in front of these bamboos in the pea gravel area. So the dry bed will be from the wall down, it could be a low wall, down. What I'm also going to do is, I wanted to get some of these um, agave. And you see, I've, I've snipped off all the points so they don't catch the dogs. But what I'm going to do is bring some of the big, big stone in and build small kind of architectural rock piles to design and fill, fill them up with gravel and plant the agave so they'd be much higher off the ground so if the dogs are running in and out they, sh they shouldn't get into the uh or they shouldn't run into the plants and i can start bringing agave and stuff like that in and um, these are actually lovely plants for the jungle tropical garden and they just sell seed everywhere there was one up in the corner here but I had to take that out because of the wall. But these 
they've basically just uh, taken over here so I'm going to be taking a lot of these out um, because it is I want the dry bed look there's just too much too much here right so this morning I'm kind of having a, an easier day after handling all the stone yesterday and I've just finished off the the bark mulch to the end of the bed here it's looking much tidier Cordelines, Cordeline Australis they're actually they're obviously they're going to grow into multi stems here and I think this one is as well small little growth points coming out at the end anyway so I've had some dye back on this bamboo this is one of my own big tall species and um, I've had to chop out some of the stems so there's two good stems that are in growth this one's just coming up this one's throwing out new leaves that's got the green leaves so I think it was just with the shock and the dieback see all the leaves have gone brown so you win some and you lose some when you transfer stuff I'm going to give it a good soak. There's a new, a new stem coming up on that Oricalis. And there's a new one. Coming up on the, I'm going to check the name here. I'm after breaking the I file a stack is Huang Wing Ju. I think that's the green, green stripe, yellow stripe. So basically here is where I'm going to transfer the gunnera and it's going to be in full sun for morning all the way through the day evening and I'm digging a pit it was supposed to be a handy day and I'm starting to hit boulders but this is going to be filled with compost and it's going to be a lot of bark mulch to help retain the moisture and stuff Right, so that's that pit dug for the the gunner. I won't move it in now until I get all the, the compost and get the bark mulch ready. Um, but I think it'll, it'll be a much better site here. So I have the, I think this is the Missageri. Yeah, that's the Missageri. Um, it's a dark coloured bamboo and I've got the yellow and green bamboo beside it here and basically it's going to have several feet if it does survive you know it's got the proper space for a gunner here coming out and I'll probably have to trim off the top big, the bigger leaves of the gunner leave some of the smaller ones um, so because it's probably going to go into shock I'll try and take as much of the root ball up as possible and um, once this hole is ready dig it and transplant it immediately that's a f uh, something I find with the um, if you're doing a transplant have the, ho the other hole that you're transplanting it to ready everything is ready to go your compost whatever your mulch everything your water so the minute you dig it from site A get it straight across to site B plant it get it in uh, cut back the excess foliage wherever you need to 
so the energy goes back to the roots and then start soak it because I've transferred um, bamboos around different places now and it wasn't even during the winter in the summer as well and I've gotten away with it you lose some um, but I think it's worth the chance with this gunner now get it into a site that's gonna like <laughs> 